never make another spelling mistake again in VS Code. We're going to be installing a code spell checker for English and other languages. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. In our project, I've gone ahead and created an index.js file. Inside this file, we have some correct spelling and then some incorrect spelling of methods. And then we have some different languages. We have Spanish and French spelled correctly, but we also have Spanish and French incorrect spelled words. So let's go ahead and start by installing our spell checker. Inside the extensions tab, we're gonna go ahead and search for spell checker. The spell checker that we're going to be using is from Street Side Software. All we're going to do is go ahead and click that install button. With the spell checker installed, we can go back to our index.js file. And inside this file, immediately we can see what is correct and incorrect. Everything here with the blue squiggly line is incorrect spelling. We can also see in the bottom right corner over here that it says we have seven spelling errors. And if we toggle the bottom panel and we click on the problems tab, we can see all the spelling errors that we have. So three places that you can see the errors in the file, the bottom right corner, and also in the problems tab. And every time you click on one of the items in the problem tab, it'll jump you to that spelling mistake. Let's start by fixing the first spelling mistake. Over here, I was trying to spell the word spell but left off an L and if we add that missing L the blue squiggly line will go away. Let's say that we don't know the spelling of that word we can hover over that word and then click on quick fix or use the keyboard shortcut and when we do that we're given several suggestions just like in word so we could go ahead and click spell and it will correct it. The next function is called test stuff which is obviously not a word but our spell checker is smart enough to spell check based on the camel case letters over here. The first word that it's spell checking is test and then the word stuff. We can see this further in this method over here, calculate numbers, where we've misspelled the word numbers. Now it's only highlighted the numbers, so we can click on that, click on quick fix, select numbers, then our function has a correctly spelled name. Next, let's go ahead and add support for Spanish and French. Over here, we have the word hola, fi in Spanish, and pum for apple in French. So in order to do this, we're going to go to our extensions. And then for spell checker, all we have to do is scroll down to Spanish, which will add the dictionary for Spanish. And then we do the same thing for French. We're going to install both of those. And then we can go back to our file. And within our file, you're going to see that we still have those errors so we need to enable those different languages. The easiest way to enable the languages is to go ahead and click on spell in the bottom right hand corner. From there, we can change our user or global settings for all VS Code windows. So if we enable a language here, it'll be enabled for every VS Code window. If we do it for workspace, it's going to be per a project. So let's do the following. We're going to enable Spanish globally for all VS Code windows. We're going to scroll down, click on the Spanish language, then click on user and it's going to apply it globally. Going back to our file, we'll see that Ola no longer has a blue squiggly line underneath it and is spelled correctly. In addition to spell checking on variables and methods, we also have spell checking within our comments. To fix this spelling error over here, all we have to do is make it capital. We can use the quick fix with our keyboard or by clicking it. And now our comments are also spelled correctly. Now we can utilize our Spanish dictionary to fix our Spanish words over here. Here we spell out hola with an extra A. If we go to the quick fix and we select hola like that, now it is spelt correctly. Next, let's go ahead and add support for the French language. We have the word pum, which is apple, and it is spelt correctly in French. Let's go ahead and click on spell over here, and we're going to click on workspace. Now, if we click on our project over here, we'll see that we have our index.js file. But when we create a workspace setting, it's going to be just for the current project. And when we do that, it's going to include all the languages that we're using globally, and the languages that we select here. So let's go ahead and select French. And when we do that, you see this folder here was created. We created the settings.json file. And now we have English in our dictionary. We have Spanish, 
and we have French. So let's go back to index.js and you'll see that pum, which is spelled correctly, no longer has the blue squiggly lines. To also check that our French language dictionary is working properly, if we take a look at the word pum over here, we have an extra M in it. We can click on quick fix or use our keyboard shortcut so we can just select pum and now it will be spelled correctly. Lastly, let's say that we have a word that is not in the dictionary. For example, over here we have the fluxener calculator, which is a made up word. And just like any good dictionary, we can go ahead and add it to our dictionary. If we go ahead and click on the word and click on quick fix, we're going to see that we can add it to our workspace settings or globally for every single VS Code window. Let's go ahead and add it to the workspace settings. When we do that, the blue squiggly line goes away. If we go look at our explorer over here and click on settings.json, we can see that we have a cspell.words and inside that array, we have our brand new word. We could go ahead and make up a word and add this to array. So let's just uh, type some random characters. This will be a brand new word that we're adding. We're going to go to our index.js and we'll define a variable. That variable that we're going to define, we'll just give it a value. And we're going to see that it has no blue squiggly line. But if we add some more letters to it, it's going to have a blue squiggly line. And we can take this brand new word that we created and also add it to our workspace dictionary. If we go to our settings, we're going to see that brand new word was added as well. One last thing that we can do with the spell checker is instead of putting our settings in the settings.json file, we can go ahead and create a new file. This new file needs to be named cspell.json. And inside that JSON, I'm just going to throw in a template over here. You'll see that we can specify the language the words, and we can even flag words that we don't want in our code base. Now this file is going to go ahead and override our settings. If we go back to our index.js, you're going to see we're missing some of our language settings, but the words that were added are still working. So in order to fix this, all we need to do is add the languages that we're missing. We're just going to copy this over here, go back to our cspell.json and inside the language section, paste in our different languages. And then if we go back to our index.js, it'll all be working again. Now this cspell file can exist either in your .vs code or in your root. So I can move it to the root over here, go back to our file, and you'll see that everything is still working as before. Well, let's go ahead and test adding a new word. We'll misspell Adam over here, and you'll see that we have the squiggly blue line. But if we go to our C spell JSON and we add that words to our words list, and what you're going to see is we no longer have the blue squiggly line over here. And we can test out our flagged words as well. So if we go to flag words and we put a flag word was apple and we go back to our index.js, we create a variable called apple, put our mouse over it. It's going to tell us that it's a forbidden word. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.